is this worth rupees 4800 Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. I am very very happy that you are here with me today and I'm very happy that I was able to put out this video today as well. I took a tiny little short break from YouTube and I couldn't be happier to be back. We are definitely feeling a little festive as you can see and in today's video we're gonna be doing a skincare review. You guys seem to really really like that but before we get started with that, just in case this is the very first time you're seeing this face, Hello, I am Jovita and I would love it if you took a second to click that subscribe button just underneath this video. So, <laughs> let's get started. In today's video, as you already know from the title of this video, I will be reviewing Forest Essentials Moisturizer, Sunscreen and a Lip Balm. Basically, the total cost of all of this is a roundish 5,100, round about 5,000 rupees and that's a lot of money for just three items. Now Forest Essentials, everybody knows that it is a very, very reputable Ayurvedic Indian skincare brand. If you remember from my Amazon haul, I got this just to review this guy for you and uh, of course threw in a couple of other products as well because these were the ones that caught my attention, right? So what I'm gonna do for this video is, as usual, like we did in Garnier and all of my other videos, I'm gonna take up the Forest Essentials website and I'm gonna read their claims. How rude of me, I have not told you what the name of this moisturizer is. Guys, Forest Essentials, who? Oh. Forest Essentials has a couple of moisturizers and this is the Soundarya Radiance with 24 karat gold and SPF 25. I don't believe that topical application of gold on your face or body can aid in beauty. It cannot really deliver any sort of skincare benefits to your skin because the gold molecules are just way too large to penetrate into your skin so it has an aesthetic value for sure it has a luxurious value like your moisturizer has gold in it and some of the serums with gold flecks or leaf or whatever it has it looks beautiful but it's really not doing anything to your skin okay so if this price is just because of the gold in it let me tell you right here before we even get into the website Mm. But, but, I'm gonna hold my horses. One thing that I find a little fishy is that the picture on the website of the same moisturizer, the packaging looks very, very different and the one I got off of Amazon looks very, very different. The one on the website has a more, it looks like a glass jar which is slightly maroon with a gold lid and it's more square than round. Mine is a plastic round jar. So I don't know if I got an old batch but this does say manufactured in August 2020 and best before 2022 so this does look like a new batch but do they have multiple kinds of Soundarya Radiance Cream with 24 karat gold and SPF 25? I don't know. Anyways, so the price is 4,800 rupees. Ayurveda speaks of flawless skin as lustrous, smooth, firm, elastic with a golden sheen. Is that what Ayurveda says? Why do we need a golden sheen? Anyways, the Forest Essential Soundarya Radiance Cream with 24 karat gold and SPF 25. Now this is... A mouthful of a name, let me tell you that, is an exceptionally rich yet light textured face cream that incorporates a combination of precious herbs and real 24 karat gold which helps to restore the firmness of the skin giving it a natural facelift. This face moisturizer comes with SPF of 25 that helps neutralize UVA and UVB radiation and protects the skin from sun damage, environmental stress and pollution. The Soundarya cream has been awarded as the best moisturizer by L India and as the best anti-aging cream by Asia Spa. Is Asia Spa a magazine? I'm so sorry, I don't know. The benefits that I listed on the website, it deeply moisturizes the skin to defy early signs of aging. It helps in controlling collagen depletion and increases skin elasticity and smoothens fine lines. This emollient protects the skin against detrimental effects of UV radiation, free from chemicals, parabens and petrochemicals, eco-friendly packaging. Well, now we know that parabens are really not the bad guy. So uh, we don't have to be really scared of having parabens in our skincare. Again, I've mentioned this in my older skincare videos check those out uh, but it's good that we have in India Ayurvedic options that do not have parabens but every time I see this now I 
always wonder how is this product having a two year shelf life? What is the preservative that they are using in here if it is not paraben? Because paraben is one of the most well studied preservative in the market. So other preservatives in the market are not as well studied. So chances are, so I'm not talking about this at all. I'm just taking a huge diversion into speaking about preservatives and parabens. Chances are your paraben free moisturizer could be using no preservatives, which can cause your moisturizer to get moldy or it can have a preservative that's not really studied as well as paraben, which could potentially be more dangerous than all of these dangerous claims that people speak about paraben. Again, I was not speaking about this particular cream. I'm just talking about preservatives okay now some of the key ingredients that they've mentioned is saffron pure ghee gold basma or that is gold dust and licorice saffron pure ghee and licorice root extract is very very beneficial for the skin so i'm no one to debate contest or even speak about that those are all ayurvedic signs but gold basma what they say is 24 karat gold basma has the property of penetrating to the deepest layer of skin, thereby providing radiance and increased elasticity, increased, elast, increased, why can't I say this, elasticity. Well, it doesn't matter how finely you mill that gold, it's not going to even uh, penetrate your topmost layer, so forget the deepest layers of your skin. Not gonna happen, not gonna happen, okay? And basically, this is all that they have to say about the cream. Now, let me tell you that this moisturizer is definitely a very, very luxurious moisturizer. Now, let's talk about my experience. I used this for one month. I'm gonna insert my before and after right here so you can take a look at what my skin looked like before I started on the 24 karat gold journey and after my Kama Saundarya journey. I tried to keep my other serums and treatments minimal so that we can see the collagen benefits and the tightening firmness and all of those kind of promised benefits from the moisturizer alone. Now, the texture of this cream is exactly spot on as they have described on the website. This has a very light, luxurious, velvety, airy texture and it does absorb into your skin very beautifully. It goes on your skin and you know, you can blend it into your face and neck and you definitely feel luxurious when you are applying this on your face. I can get the scent of saffron or turmeric or something Ayurveda when I apply this on my face. I'm gonna give it a wild guess and say that there is definitely essential oils in this. Now, Ayurveda is not against essential oils, so I have no problem having a little bit of essential oil in my moisturizers. But I'm just saying that, you know, it smells divine, probably because of the use of essential oils in the moisturizer. Now, if you are living somewhere in South India where it is hot and humid, or if you have oily skin, this is going to leave a light glaze i want to say on your skin it's not greasy don't get me wrong it leaves a glow on your face not shimmer there is no glitter particles it's like a glow but if you have dry skin you might want something a little bit richer now about their claims of the firmness and the collagen production and the i don't know what else they said i didn't feel anything what i felt was it's a good moisturizer that comes in a gorgeous, extremely luxurious pot. I mean, this on your vanity is gonna look so beautiful. I also like the fact that they've included SPF of 25. That's minimal, but if you are mostly sitting at home or if you have a nine to five job, most of your time you spend indoors, I think SPF of 25 is okay. Now coming to the most important question that I had, that you probably have. Is this worth rupees 4,800? Hundred. If you have a lot of money that you would like to fly, yes it is, but for me, no. Will I ever buy this again? No, because I really don't think that this moisturizer is worth 4,800 rupees because you even get a really good moisturizer for like 500 rupees. And this also gives me a very old lady vibe, you know, every time I look at the jar, the scent of it, the price of it. So, I'm not about that life. The pot definitely has a very deceptive packaging. The jar itself only comes till there. The rest of it is just clear acrylic. So you are getting a lot lesser than you think you are getting. Now you're getting 50 grams of product in here. That price, it's painfully high. That gold is, 
I'm sorry, not gonna do anything to you. All right, let's move on to product number two of today's video. And this is the Sun Fluid with tender coconut water with turmeric and basil leaf SPF of 50 PA++. So this comes in a 50 milliliter bottle and this costs 975 rupees. If we have learned anything as an average consumer from the whole Purito scandal is that we don't really know how much of actual SPF protection is there in our beloved sunscreens just by reading the label. Just because they've written SPF of 50 PA++, there is no way I can confirm that to you. Because as a skincare YouTuber, I also feel responsible to you, you know? When I'm reviewing a product, I need to be able to tell you if a product that says SPF 50 really has SPF of 50. All I'm saying is, I don't really know. The label says SPF of 50 PA++. All right. Now let's move on to the claims on the website. A sunscreen that has the lightest texture for intensive sun protection. The Forest Essential Sun Fluid with SPF of 50 PA++ uses the most organic form of sun care available in nature. Tender coconut water. What? No, they did not just write that. No, we need filters, you know, we need actual some sort of filters in our SPF. If it is just tender coconut water, we would be just buying coconut water and applying it on our face. Guys, please don't do that, okay? This is just flowery words of marketing that they are using. Our sheer fluid formulation evenly distributes a thin veil of luminosity over the skin. A blend of hydrating and nourishing ingredients is infused with naturally derived SPF. Yashada Basma Zinc Oxide, which is very good, that adds to the intensity of the sun protection. Basil leaf infusions protect the skin from environmental stressors, making it perfect for daily application. Benefits, an Ayurvedic formulation that minimizes the effect of harsh UVA slash UVB sun rays. It contains an SPF of 50 PA++ that promises protection up to 4 to 6 hours. It is blended with natural humectants to keep the skin hydrated, free from chemicals, parabens, petrochemicals. That is just that one line that I don't agree with anymore. I don't like hearing it. Eco-friendly packaging. All right. Um, let's start with that last part of the eco-friendly packaging. This does come in a glass bottle with a plastic pump. So for the most part, this is recyclable. But that doesn't mean that all of Forest Essential products are eco-friendly, so mm, whatever. Let's cut to the chase. I love this sunscreen. I love it. I think, I think, I'm gonna be brave enough and go ahead and say this. From all the sunscreens that I have currently, this is my favorite. Why, you ask? They are spot on about their description of the texture. It is a very light, beautiful, airy, textured sunscreen. It does not leave a white cast on my face and it feels like a nourishing lotion you know it does hydrate on days when you're lazy you can definitely skip a moisturizer and just apply this it does not clog my pores it does not give me bumps or pimples or acne it does not irritate my skin it feels so nice on the skin if you have normal dry skin this is perfect if you have excessively oily skin you might not like that sheen or the luminescence <laughs> that this gives it because it, it's not a matte finish sunscreen basically but I absolutely love this sunscreen. I love the fact that they have infused it with tender coconut water because I don't know about the sunscreen properties of tender coconut water, but tender coconut water definitely has amazing skincare benefits. Basil leaf has amazing skincare benefits. They are calming, nourishing, enriched with nutrients, vitamins. So they are amazing for the skin. It also has turmeric and we know about turmeric. Turmeric is superb for the skin. So all in all, I love the beautiful mix of Ayurveda and science with sun protection that they have. So take it with a pinch of salt. I just don't know about any sunscreens in the market anymore because as a layman, there is no way for us to find out if an SPF of 50 actually is SPF of 50 on our face. But apart from that, this is a brilliant sunscreen. The price of 975 rupees for this 50 ml I think is completely worth it. I would rebuy this and rebuy this and rebuy this and rebuy this until I find a better alternative guys I love it and finally we're gonna be talking about the luxurious lip balm with sugared rose petals once again so fancy this is the luscious lip balm not luxurious lip balm but guys this whole packaging is just I want to say luxurious and old lady and also the scent is so it reminds me of my mom's lip balms and lipsticks and 
foundations it has a very old lady perfumey rose smell not actual rose smell you know that perfumey 80s <laughs> rose smell. i'm sure all of you can relate from your mom or grandmother's products you know that's what it smells like but strictly talking about the packaging alone um it's a very cute packaging it has a mirror who ha who whoever puts a mirror in a lip balm it this gives you absolutely no tint at all is it bad no is it the best i've used no does it do the job <laughs> yeah but i just don't like the overly fragranced feel on my lips you know it gives you a very glossy finish it's kind of like you've applied a mediocre gloss not like a high shine intense gloss somewhere in between i hope i'm not confusing you but it stays on top of your lips i feel like it doesn't get absorbed into your lips to really moisturize your lips it stays on top and prevents it from drying further so it kind of does its job but yeah it's okay i'm not the biggest fan of lip balms that come in pots because you have to keep dipping your finger in it to apply and especially during times like this with corona and the virus and everything it's not the most hygienic thing to always dip your finger in and apply even if you sanitize your hands so i just i never see myself reaching out to this one i was hoping it would be a tinted lip balm with that beautiful rose in that case i'd be like okay i i would still like not mind it you know but this is just literally a uh, watered down vaseline <laughs> so why would i pay 695 rupees for that you know what i'm saying and for 695 rupees you get 4 grams of product you know put in another 200 300 rupees and get yourself that sun fluid that is brilliant but this no nah. but shall we quickly read the claims on the website we did it for the other two so let's just do it anyways right The ultra hydrating forest essential sugared petal lip balm. I'm telling you these names are way too long. It's a unique ayurvedic preparation of kokum butter, organic beeswax and cocoa butter which helps to replenish and soften dry chapped lips. I don't think that's going to I don't I don't like I don't have dry chapped lips and I still didn't feel that intense hydration that I get from some of my other favorite lip balms. So if you actually have those winter burnt dry flaky lips i don't think this is going to treat it or heal it for you due to its extraordinary moisturizing and hydrating properties this lip balm seals in moisture and soothes dry lips leaving them soft and glossy well that's true it seals in the moisture if it has any but if your lips are already dry it's not sealing in anything and it uh, soothes dry lips for sure it has a soothing effect and the glossy part i already explained that An effective blend of emollients which replenishes and softens dry chapped lips. It gently heals and moisturizes the lips for a glossy finish. Free from chemicals, parabens and petrochemicals. Eco-friendly packaging. This comes in a nice plastic dabba. I don't know how that is eco-friendly. The outer packaging of it was very very beautiful like a cardboard and everything which I threw away. I just couldn't be bothered to keep it, but I don't see how this is eco-friendly at all, guys. I no, I don't agree with it. So that is everything I wanted to share with you in this video. So basically, is all of this worth 5000 rupees of yours? I would say no. I don't recommend any of the others except for the sun fluid. This is brilliant, but the moisturizer and the lip balm is so <laughs> By the way, if you've tried out any of these products or any other products from Forest Essentials, leave your review underneath this video because you and I, we could have different skin types, we live in different kind of climatic conditions. So I'm sure that other viewers will find your review helpful. So please feel free to leave your review down in the comment section below. So that is it with this video, guys. I hope you found this helpful and I hope you enjoyed this. And I shall see you in my next one. I have a lot of really fun. videos planned you guys just give me a little bit of motivation to not take a huge ass break again okay